Hi, pet lovers. Thank you for joining Gina's Grooming Channel, and thank you for joining us on another walkthrough. Uh, this is part of our series where I walk through some of the grooms that I do, uh, usually if it's to fix something or to show you something unique uh, during that groom. Uh, so welcome. Uh, today's uh, discussion is going to be on a black Russian terrier. Uh, now this is a big dog, a big dog to do for professional grooming, but they are amazing, amazing dogs. I'm gonna go ahead and introduce you to Tasha, who is a young black Russian terrier, and then I'm gonna go ahead and walk you guys through the groom and what I do to get her looking to how she does at the end. All right, we're gonna get Tasha up on the table. Always very helpful when a big dog jumps on the table for you. Okay, let's take a look at this beautiful girl. She is as sweet as she is beautiful. But you can see some of the things I'm working with here is a really, really bushy chest and some areas on her that are really, really bushy that I'm gonna go ahead and take down. Now, the way uh, I visualize Black Russian Terriers, there is a difference of Black Russian Terrier pet grooming where we can take uh, some liberties uh, for our styling and also for the maintenance of our pets. Um, um, versus uh, versus uh, any show grooming where there is a very distinctive cut of four black uh, Russian terriers, which includes some very unique uh, characteristics, such as a very short patch on the head, um, some short patches inside of their thighs, um, and so forth. So you'll see that a lot in the show. The other very interesting characteristic is about a little bit of a head poof behind their shaved ears. So we'll talk about how we're handling this with our pet trim. So right now I'm taking down her chest. Uh, now this is going to emulate a little bit of that long-legged terrier look. So think of a Kerry Blue, uh, and what we're going to do is make that chest flat. And that took off a lot of coat uh, for Tasha. Remember, this is a pet, so we want to make sure that she can grow into her coat without getting tangled or matted in between professional pet grooming visits, which could be six to eight weeks. Uh, so we are going to be taking her down. And now you can see I'm not cutting into her skirt. I'm just skimming off, but I'm going to go really nice and tight around her tuck up area. Now, the reason why I do this, um, this is when that function and form comes together because not only does it look beautiful on a long legged terrier, um, but it also helps keep them from matting in friction places. So wherever the joints connect to the body are big friction places. So you'll see that in their front legs, in their rear legs. Uh, so this is why a lot of those long terriers, uh, long legged terriers, we take down around that tuck up, we take down uh, by their back thighs and inside uh, their thighs, so to make sure that uh, that area stays nice and mat free. Now what I'm doing is I'm putting on my one, so that's what I took with her body as a number one, all over with my A5 clipper. Um, now I'm going through those lines with my detail clipper. So this is my wall bravura. So I attached a number one guide comb and I'm just going through the haircut. Now one of the things that I didn't uh, film uh, that I do between the main haircut and my detail clipper part is that I usually use my blow dryer, blow off the pet so that it lifts the hair. So when I go through for my second pass, um, I go ahead and get all those little bits of hairs that maybe the first pass didn't get through. And then I use this detail pass also to skim. So I'm setting pattern lines that I'm gonna scissor later. There's no getting away with any haircut without doing a scissor finish, really hard to do, um, especially when it's a complex haircut like this. So I'm scissoring down her legs, making sure that that rear assembly looks great, um, that the hocks are nice um, and well set and I'm just gonna go through her front legs, make nice and uh, columns, kind of think of the Black Russian Terrier as a mix between a long-legged terrier and a big bear, um, but we want her to look natural, again, setting her up for six to eight weeks of growth in between professional pet grooming visits. Okay, now, remember I mentioned for the uh, show, uh, Black Russian Terriers, they leave this kind of a poof and then they take this top part of the head really short with a five or a seven and then they'll usually go ahead and leave this short with the ears uh, shaved. So what I'm doing is leaving the back part of the head a little longer than I did on the body so you see me taking a zero and just neatening up, neatening up, making a little bit of that wedge shape but I really want that 
face to look natural. That's that black Russian terrier, that bear uh, look. I'm not going to shave her ears this time. I'm just going to make them more like a puppy cut uh, because it's really cute to give her that form of that black Russian terrier, but more of a pet trim. So here she is. You can see that fall is still there. We still get that natural black Russian terrier look, but the body is much more manageable. You see that long-legged terrier with that bear. She's so cute. All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining and letting me walk you through how I groom this particular Black Russian Terrier. Again, I take um, some different ways that I do as a professional pet groomer, knowing that it's a pet. I take some liberties uh, with some of the work, but really making sure that the form follows function, making sure that I take the pet down in areas where there's friction, uh, but making sure that I still comply with that long-legged terrier look and also adding with that Black Russian Terrier, that bear look. Guys, thank you so much for joining. We really appreciate your time. If you have any uh, comments or questions, please put them down below. We really appreciate you subscribing if you haven't done so already and clicking that thumbs up. Guys, thank you so much. We will see you soon.